Hey everybody, how you doing? JW here, Peterbilt SoCo. I have three heavy haul trucks that I'm gonna do in this one video. They're all spec identical aside from the color. And so I just wanted to go, I'll go through one truck in detail on the layout. And then I will uh, give you a little bit of a close up on the colors. So listen, to, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on these. I'm going to ask a little bit of grace on these guys. They were just washed the other day. We got some bad weather. And I just drove 120 miles to get in front of these trucks because I want you to see them. And so uh, don't get don't be too hard on me about not washing the trucks. I get a lot of comments about that. But yeah, I do appreciate it. So this one is Radiant Fire Red. Black Cherry Fenders. Okay, and uh, the reason I came up today on such short notice because we have sunshine. So I did want you to be able to at least see the flake to a degree in the uh, in the paint. So I'm trying to find a good angle here. So this is the radiant red color. And again, I apologize for the dust. Uh, it certainly wasn't my intention to uh, have dirty trucks, but that's just how it is. So. And then this is the black cherry color. So from a distance, and especially like on the cloudy day, these will come across as uh, almost a black color. But it is really good, and it looks very nice with this uh, Radiant Fire Red. So... We are running the uh, Bridgestone Super Float front tire. It's the uh, 425 65R22.5 front tire, 20,000 pound front axle. I'll get in here and Of course the Alcoa wheels all polished up, disc brakes, again all these trucks are the same spec wise, they're just different in color. So we're running the 565 Cummins, 2050 Torque, and I've been told to slow down a little bit on my videos so that you guys can see things a little bit better. Remote lube kit. We did pre-wire for these. I'm gonna put something in the narratives because I believe that this truck has a wide track front end, which offers you a lot tighter turning radius. Now this truck is 275 inch wheelbase, all three of them. And so for those of you guys who are working in cities, this thing turns on a dime. We are running a 58 inch flat top sleeper and then you can see the black cherry on the top and we got the beacons all wired up additional wiring for any extra lighting that you want here kissling battery disconnect everything's polished Nice little access to the back. We are running a full 72 inch air slide. We have a liftable, non steerable axle 22.5 tires. Let's check and see if it's a 20 or 23,000 pound. The actual rating on the liftable steerable is actually 22.7 on the sticker and the door jam. Okay. Then we're running 11R 24.5 tires on the rear. Fully buffed out wheels. Air track. Heavy duty Peterbilt suspension. With the heavy tracking rod. You can see there. Now the liftable axle is a drum brake. I have yet to see one with disc brakes. 
and then the rear drive axles are full disc. Again, it's a 275 wheelbase, 52 inch axle spread. Holland FW35 fifth wheel. Access step on this side. 120 gallon tank on this side. I would imagine it's uh, a little bit less on the other side. I'll, I'll double check on that. Just check the narratives. Okay. If it is running the wide track, this, this wheel will turn offset in 50 degrees, which gives you a very tight turning radius. Okay, so inside the cab, these are keyless entry systems. They are full platinum interiors. We pulled the nav and made them full gauge trucks. So everyone is full gauges. Heated seats. Or black leather. Air ride passenger seat. Of course you get your full tilt. You can see all the gauges that are in there. All your PTO switches, diff lockers. This is running an 18 speed Eaton floor transmission. I get a lot of comments about this floor cup holder. You either love them or hate them. We did the CV up in the center console and then we put the CB speaker right here next to the driver. Again, it's a 52 inch flat top. So we have the uh, S bar bunk heater is already in here. Full access side door. There is an extra port there. For, for your phone or whatever. And you have your little mini closets here. Okay. Next up, we're going to go to the Galaxy Silver and Black Cherry Fender truck. So stand by. Okay, so this one here is Galaxy Silver and I'm losing my sunlight in direct sun it has almost a tan tan look to it I like this color because it is much easier to keep clean it doesn't show quite the the dust and dirt but again it has a black cherry fender same as this one here but you can see has a different effect. I really like this color combination. It's very nice. Again, all the specs are the same. This one is rather nice. So I'm going to run back. The third truck is in the back lot. It's still waiting to get PDI'd, so I'm going to run back there real quick. I'll just give you a quick little snapshot inside. Again, same thing. Black seating, black carpet. We already put the mud flaps, or um, I'm sorry, the floor mats and everything in there for you. Just beautiful trucks. My buddy Keith here in Northern Colorado spec these trucks out. 
I'd like to get some comments back from you guys on the difference on your thoughts, maybe some of your local laws regarding the, you know, the steerable lift axles versus the non-steerable and uh, what your preferences are. We're always kind of keeping our ear to the ground on some things. So, okay, well, I'll be right back here with the Pepper Gray truck. Okay, this one is Pepper Gray and black fenders so it's a flat black and pepper gray now if you google pepper gray and black the first thing that you're gonna see is the mustang from gone in 60 seconds called eleanor and so this is eleanor's big brother i think it's pretty fantastic I like that color. I wish I had a little bit better sunlight, but I think you can see this one here is actually clean. So give me a thumbs up for all those. I finally got a clean truck on here. It's fantastic. We can configure these heavy hauls any way you like. And I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a teaser out there right now. Hopefully later this week I'm gonna be uploading a truck. A 389 flat top that we have almost fifty thousand dollars in upgrades on. And I took a look at this truck in the shop in our body shop in Denver today, and it was absolutely fantastic. So again, guys, my name is JW. You need to build a truck, check with me on anything we have available. We're getting a lot of inventory in here before the end of the year. I'd love to help you any way I can. If you want to fly in and pick your truck up, we can help you with that. My, my direct number is 970-518-5520. If you like these videos, go ahead and click in the orange truck in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. We'd love to have you. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.